Okay, so uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how we can do um, rolling cluster upgrades on a cluster that's currently running uh, Server 2012 R2. So here I have a cluster called Cluster 01, and that cluster has a couple of nodes, and both of those nodes are currently running uh, Server 2012 R2, and we're going to do uh, an, uh, an upgrade uh, to upgrade this to Server uh, 2016. So the first thing uh, I want to show you here is that obviously we've got uh, a couple of nodes uh, that are currently running on uh, this machine. And so we've got uh, a couple of nodes. Uh, one of those nodes is, uh, you notice that we have uh, FS01 2012 R2 and FS01 2012 R2, uh, two of these. And they're both running uh, server 2012 R2 data center edition. And you can see they're both running that. And of course, we've got uh, a role. Uh, we've got a role running on this machine. We have a scale out file server, so we have a workload uh, that we're uh, using, that the business is actually using, and we, but we want to uh, keep innovating and we want to be on uh, the latest operating system, so we want to upgrade this up. So what we start off with is we, first of all, need to pause and drain the roles uh, that are currently running uh, at the moment. Now, I'm going to start by going up to my first node in my cluster, and I'm going to uh, go to pause, and I'm going to go and drain uh, these particular roles. Uh, and what you're going to see um, is when we do that, uh, it's going to move those roles off. Uh, so as we do that, you see it's it's draining uh, those particular roles, and it's been paused. Okay, so effectively now we have the ability to evict this out of the cluster and do the upgrade process that we want to do. So which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and go down to more actions, and I'm going to evict uh, this node out of the cluster. It obviously sends me a warning. To say, you know, we want to, you want to make sure you want to do this, and that's out of the cluster. Now, at this time, uh, what we would do is we would uh, uh, rebuild this uh, server with Windows Server 2016, and uh, let's assume, uh, you know, and for purposes of this demo, to make this fairly quick, is now that that node's been evicted out, uh, we've gone away and we've upgraded that uh, node to Server 2016. We want to now add that back to the cluster. So let's go ahead and uh, begin that process. So we're going to go over to nodes. And we're going to go and add node, and we're going to click uh, next through here. Now, obviously, we're going to go and search for the name of the node. In this case, it's uh, file server 01 uh, uh, dash TP, standing for technical preview, and we're going to add that in. Uh, so we're going to make sure it gets verified. Okay, so it's found that server. We're going to go and add that and hit next. Uh, now, of course, we don't we know that our cluster is okay, so we don't want to run through any of the uh, the tests that are going on at the moment. So we'll hit no to that. Uh, we'll hit next. And then we'll add all eligible storage to that. And then it's going to basically go through and it's going to go and get our current node membership. It's going to verify that this particular um, server can become a fully functioning member of the cluster. Uh, and it's going and verifying that stuff in the background. So we'll let that run. And once the wizard's all finished, it says that it's been added. Uh, we could go and view a report if we wanted to, uh, but we'll just click Finish. And now what you notice here is that we have a server running Windows Server Technical Preview and a server still running Server 2012 R2 Data Center. Now you can run in this mode uh, for about a month or so. Uh, so we certainly don't recommend you put it in mixed mode and leave it like that. Uh, what you would continue to do now is if you had all other nodes in the process is you would go through the same process of upgrading uh, these, uh, well, draining the roles and moving them off uh, and upgrading them. So we're going to go ahead and onto the second node in this cluster, and we're going to drain and pause the, the roles on that. And what you're going to see is that our roles now are all running. My scale out file server is now running against my server 2016 uh, server, uh, and that is running fine. We haven't had any downtime in regards to that into that workload. So we're going to go back over to our uh, nodes, and we're going to go and evict uh, that node out of the, the cluster. So let's click on that, and we're going to go down to more actions, evict that out of the cluster, hit yes, and it's going to process that, and aren't that nodes out of the cluster. Now, of course, we've gone through the same process with the second node. We're going to rebuild that server with server 2016, and pretend we're really, really fast when we do this. And we're going to now we're finished with that, and we're going to go and add uh, that node to the cluster, and we're staying with our naming convention, we're going to call it FSO2-TP, add that in, uh, make sure that that gets recognized. And once that's recognized, we'll add it in. Again, we don't want to go through and validate the, the tests. 
Uh, we're going to add all eligible storage to that cluster. Now it's going to go through the same process, making sure that that uh, particular, um, you know, we're going to make sure we configure the cluster service, make sure that we're waiting for notification that it can become a fully functioning. Now, of course, you could do this all with PowerShell if you wanted to, uh, but we're doing it through the GUI so we can show you what it looks like. And then once it's actually done, you'll see that both servers are now running server 2016. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and run a PowerShell commandlet to upgrade the cluster functional level. Now, with Server 2012 R2, the functional level is version 8, and we need to upgrade that functional level. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. It's going to ask me, say, um, now, if you this is a one-way, uh, this operation. You cannot uh, reverse this operation, and you cannot add additional, uh, you can't add any Server 2012 R2 servers to the cluster once you actually upgrade uh, the force, the functional, uh, sorry, the functional level of the cluster. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hit um, yes to all because uh, we want to make sure that it upgrades all of these. We will hit enter, uh, and that will go ahead and upgrade uh, this cluster to version nine. And then once we've actually done that, that particular um, cluster is now running and fully functioning as a Windows Server 2016 cluster. So hopefully this gave you a really good idea of uh, how we actually go about doing that and uh, a quick view at how we can go and update our clusters without any downtime.